A man found guilty of fraud and trying to sell millions of people's personal data has gone AWOL. Out on bail, Karabo Pungula was expected in the Palm Bridge Specialized Commercial Crimes Court for sentencing. He didn't pitch and a warrant for his arrest has been issued. In 2020, Pungula downloaded approximately 27 million personal data records and 750,000 business records from credit bureau Experian. Senior reporter Slindia Lomasikana has more. This is the man responsible for one of South Africa's most shocking data breaches. Karabo Pungula used someone else's identity to trick credit bureau Experian. In May 2020, Pungula downloaded millions of people's personal information from Experian's database and was selling it to marketing companies. The fraudster was due back in court for sentencing but never pitched. In total, the loss included in this case should be above 10 million rands. So as a state, we argued for a custodial sentence and um, citing the seriousness of the offences committed by Mr. Pongula. So just how serious are data breaches in South Africa? It is very rife because on record we have more than 500 data breaches or security compromises, as the Act refers to them as. And these occurred between October and now in February. One expert says the Protection of Personal Information Act, also known as POPIA, is only effective when it's implemented. Privacy legislation has a, a loophole, a deliberate loophole, for credit bureaus. So credit bureaus are allowed to collect your, your personal information, from multiple service providers. However, they don't stop there. Anyone can get access to this data in return for money. An act is, is only as good as its enforcement. The information regulator says the selling of personal information is also illegal. We have those cases also before us. I don't want to go into that, but uh, we, we, do, we did receive complaints of sale of personal information and uh, it's a matter that uh, we are investigating. Police have now launched a manhunt for Pungula. In a statement, Experience says it's thankful the law has run its course and that the company continues to make investments in data security. Slinda Lomasigan, Johannesburg.